Right, now this time we're doing the head. So you won't see my head, you'll be seeing his head. And let's see how it goes. And this time I decided to cut it shorter, shorter bits, because I haven't go all the way around. And plus it's a circle shape. So I need to get that right to try and get it smooth. So you're just gonna have to watch these hands do the head. Right, so you can probably still hear me. So in the bucket with your tape, squeeze it a little bit. I don't want it too runny. And instead of that, this is quite drippy. So I'm just gonna go there, actually. You know what, I'm gonna do the best bit at the front. Because if there's any joins and patches, they'll show more at the back. See, there's a bit of logic there. Now, I really don't know how quite, I don't really do not want much of a seam. Real tricky, this is. I'm wondering if I do, should use some wire, which might help. Um, just a second. Oh, I nearly kicked him over there. into that shape and I'm gonna theoretically peg and see what I'm doing. It's got a bit caught at the minute but I don't I want to be able to get a round neck. So you see that there? And then my logic is to pin him in like that. That's not going to work, is it? No, so I'll have to get it round this side. Hmm. To think about this, I'm going to get it there. Just oh, this tape, this tape, this bandage stuff. Stays where I want it to stay. Although I haven't got to worry about the tape drying so much because it's only a little bit in it. So I don't know. Maybe if I hold it on for a bit just for it to start drying. Because I really want to go tight into that neck. I don't want it baggy. <laughs> Not my own neck. <laughs> um, right. See, now, I probably need the next bit so I can tighten that up in there. Now, I hope you're in a position you can still see this. in the process but there you go that's all part of the fun right I'm gonna take that up to about there yeah you can see that smooth it out right I think it's gonna be a case of holding it into now see I don't really want creases but I think Basically, you've got no chance of not having any creases. Yeah, so I've done the neck. Now I'm using the chicken wire just a little bit to pin in place. That's not gone too bad, is it? 
that's not too bad. Yeah, can we agree that's not too bad? Okay, right, next little bit. I'll smooth that out there. It's a little bit, a little bit loose, but anyway. can see see this so I'm going to go at the front for this so I'm going to turn turn it around okay and I'm going to put this on there and I'm just going to place that there I might I don't want to go too low I don't think because I've got to hook it over onto there okay so I'm just going to put that there Okay, and I'm going to do some stuff on there. Right. So I'm going to hold. Maybe I'm, I might just poke it in there a bit because the chicken wire can hold it. Hopefully, if I find a little bit that's sticking out. There you go. That's not too bad, is it, at the minute? So I'll pick up the little bits. Sharpy bits. This bit doesn't want to go in there. If I twist my finger around a bit, it might go in there. Ah, see, look, now I've got a bit of a thread. So now, actually, that thread might come in handy. Because I'm going to... Will go? Will go? It might not. Hold that much. Right, anyway, I'm just going to get the next bit. Right, make sure you cut reasonable size stuff. Dip it in your bucket. And I'm going to go for the neck this time. Here, so we can see what I'm doing. Now, obviously, I've got this high shoulder here. I'm debating whether to put that across there like that, which I might, as you see, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get in there. Although, if I had an extra bit, it might be neater, but. I just want to get the shape of the shoulder. So I'm just getting that there. Okay, and that's quite neat actually. There's a bit of gap there. I can always add more in the areas that need touching up. So I don't think that's too bad actually. So, excuse my house in the camera. I'm going to cut one more bit. Uh, so, I'll dip in the bit again. Right, now I hope this video is helping you to gain some confidence of your own so that you can try your own project that you're doing and where am I going to go? Where am I going to go with this, she says. Uh, now, I'm just wondering if I should go under here. Right, I think, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn around and show you what I'm looking at. So, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come across there, so I'm at an angle, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to stretch it just a little bit, and because it is chicken wire, I've
poked it in one of the little holes. Now I do not want it to look crimpled yet again. So tidy it up, stretch it as much as you dare if you're going to do anything like this. And smooth, smooth it out. The, the aim is to get a nice smooth finish, which as I've said to you might be impossible in some areas. But you can but try your best to get a good area. Right. I think that was fairly successful. I'm just gonna get a bit more water on that. More water. Just there. Because I don't want it raised. See, look, now I've got a bit of cotton because I've knocked about the edge. Soon sold. Pull it off. Okay, right. Now, just going to have a look at how I'm doing in a sec. Ah. Now look, that, don't want that. And then smooth them over, a bit more water I think. More water there. Now look, I've got a bit of metal that won't do as it's told. Bend that over. Get in there. little bit here see for that nice little bit there make sure it's entirely wet I'm gonna come around this way although I might be in your way it's just this bit here and I'm gonna plaster it there ah uh, no see lost it Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. There you go. I don't want to play about with that too much. I'll take that, I don't want that. Let's get my scissors and cut that off. That'll ruin it, won't it? See in the string. Right. Now, shoulder. I might have to snip it a little bit. There's no harm in cutting this stuff and shaping it. See? I might have to. Right, okay, that do me. So theoretically I don't need this amount on here. So I'm just gonna cut this, cuts very easily as you can see when it's dry, a bit more difficult when it's wet. Oh there we go. Okay, a little bit short. In. Right, got my shoulder bit there, so I just need to. Now, having said that, I don't really want to see the overlap. So, so I'm just gonna cover that up. Now, I'm just going to do this shoulder 
and that'd be the last thing I'd be doing or filming what I'm doing all right because um I'm gonna save I'm gonna add on I'm gonna add on um some more film on the end of this of the actual finished or more finished product all right so okay I'm gonna get on with this okay